Hey, I'm Josh, and uh, unfortunately, Monica couldn't make it today, but uh, today we'll be going through another worship devotional. Uh, we'll be going through Israel Houghton's You Are Good. And uh, I want to give a little bit of backstory uh, of Israel's life, or rather, uh, what happened before his life. Uh, he was actually, his mother is actually an unwed teenager um, who was encouraged by her parents to have an abortion. Um, but by chance, and by God's grace, um, uh, she met uh, Jesus when a stranger on a street corner uh, proclaimed the gospel to her. And so this event, uh, yeah, really radically changed her life and obviously uh, Israel's life uh, as well. And so uh, Israel, when he's writing this, is really um, coming from a place of knowing the goodness, love, and mercy uh, of God. And so I wanted to go uh, briefly over different parts of the song uh, to explain um, yeah, what it really means. And so in the opening line says, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. And that, uh, yeah, that comes from uh, Psalms 105 and also Psalms uh, 136.1. And so I'll read it to you. Psalms 105 says, For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Uh, Psalms 136.1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. And so uh, this song is really a reflection uh, of uh, kind of this uh, God being good to us and then us responding to God by acknowledging that He is good and remembering and counting our blessings and being thankful that He is good. Um, in the pre-chorus, uh, we sing, People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation. So that means um, no matter how old you are, uh, no matter what fellowship uh, you're in, whether that's um, agape, uh, whether that's uh, crossroads, uh, crossroads, uh, whether that's uh, LSF, uh, whether that's uh, married couples, um, yeah, it doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, uh, it doesn't matter what language you speak, it doesn't really matter uh, who you are, what, uh, where you come from. Uh, you are all part of God's salvation history. And this fact is um, present in the song uh, because there is no I, there is no me. Uh, and so this is a gathering hymn uh, of praise uh, that is fully corporate. And when I was preparing for this, I was thinking uh, how easy it is to feel frustrated um, yeah, when my prayers go unanswered or when uh, my, de my desire goes unmet. My hope turns into hopelessness, my confidence becomes disappointment, and my faith uh, turns into despair. Uh, but I was thinking, what if we really believed uh, that God is good? Uh, what if we trust His heart even when uh, His hands seemingly withhold the things that we desire? And uh, what if we choose to celebrate all the previous, previous yeses that He's given to us uh, despite uh, a, a current no or a current silence? Yeah, we can respond differently, uh, keeping hope uh, despite what we see. And so my challenge for you today uh, in this devotional is to once again believe, uh, preach to yourself uh, that God is good. Yeah. So thanks, and I'll see you next time.